Oh man, that was pretty intense. What's up, guys? This is Ash Knight showcasing a review of Camilla. She has 15 skill ups. She's a light warrior. She triggers do attack, lands defense break for two turn on skill one, gives attack buff for an ally and herself. She's actually quite interesting. She's on speed immunity, sets on Warhorn, high speed, high effectiveness. Wish I had more, you know, health and defense on her so she could be more tanky but i wanted to land that defense break you know we kind of like guarantee that of course there's that 15 percent in nature resist we all have to worry about that's the stats of the heroes that i brought along in these arena battles so camilla should you build her how does she work like should you invest in her will she work with maybe your play style and uh, pros and cons of this hero so I've been using heroes that give attack buff to the whole team. So the thing is, her skill one, if you want her to trigger dual attacks with the highest attack hero in the team, you need to have attack buff on her. So great, she has attack buff in her kit for herself and an ally with the highest attack. So you could be using skill number two, which uh, will apply those attack buffs, and then she will get 50% combatiness increase. So she she just needs 50% more and then she's going to be able to go again. So what you could do, one way to go about it would be to have maybe attack based bruisers, you know, like heroes that scale, deal more damage with attack that have good survivability, like 15,000 health, let's say maybe 1200 defense or more, something like that. So let's say Landy, that's, that's a great one that could work very uh, beautifully with her. Spectre Tenebria is definitely going to be a hero that would be extremely, extremely dangerous paired with Melissa. I don't have her built yet on the third account, the account I showcased her on. But when I will have her built, I will showcase her again. And uh, that's definitely going to be a very, very dangerous combo. Uh, Fire Ravi is going to be another extremely powerful hero that you could uh, pair with her. Of course, Ram, as you just saw is very deadly because if you trigger a dual attack with ram when she's in demon mode well she's gonna attack twice with skill one and if you apply the fans break with camilla first that means that's two attacks that realm will do versus a defense broken hero i don't know too many heroes that can actually survive that type of burst damage assuming you have your ram maybe built slow uh, like a really hard hitting ram that's gonna be a very deadly combination right there and the cool thing is that camilla is only a three star hero so quite obtainable for a lot of players now there's gonna be a ton of other compositions uh like combos hero that you can pair with her that are going to work well like let's talk about uh, other ones arbiter veldred he attacks two targets with skill one he pushed back cr uh, there's Green Vildred, he attacks to target. If he downs anyone, he will cleave with that passive AoE attack. Another very, very good combination right there. And uh, Green Vildred actually, you know, he gets attack buff when he attacks uh, with the passive, the AoE attack. So that's another extremely dangerous contender. So you can just pair her with any attack based hero that, have, that has a very dangerous skill number one. I was even thinking about maybe having Dizzy with, let's say, uh, maxed out skill number one on like on a slow damage build, even like on a on a Abyssal Crown. And then I would just keep on triggering door attacks and, you know, maybe control the enemy with a bunch of stuns from her skill one or Abyssal Crown and deal some pretty good damage, assuming they don't have any Earth Hero. So that's another one that you could pull off. That would be pretty uh, insane what it could do. So, of course, I don't have Spectre Denebria, so I brought Kana. I have her built on that account. She attacks two targets. So that was a pretty solid hero to actually pair with her. I found some great success while running her with Adventure Ras because Adventure Ras he's a knight. You could have Aureus on him. He has defense buff for the whole team as well. Triggering door attacks, you can reserve souls for himself. So he can soul burn the skill too continuously throughout the battle. Or you could be using souls well for himself and for Melissa if you need to soul burn her skill number one. So that's definitely 
a very powerful combo right there later on in the video i have a battle as you noticed with chaos Sekax. i was running ruel of light and uh i believe it was adventure rask so that was a really thick team my chaos Sekax is not built like ultra tanky he's like 15,000 health with some decent defense but that goes to show you that you could have instead of chaos Sekax, landy fire ravi like heroes that will take a punch and can deal well a punch themselves so you could have spectre tenebria in there as well maybe even spectre tenebria that's built uh, more on the tanky side and uh, as long as you manage to land like a defense break and you'll call that door attack it's gonna amount for some insane amount of damage very deadly burst damage that you can pull off and if you have adventure rest with camilla and you got you time the door attacks you know back to back it's gonna be too much burst damage for the enemy to sustain it this team composition right here with politis i have to gills ancient book so i have 20 souls at the start of the battle politis she's got stun on skill one so that's pretty cool right there but I do like to bring Politis in there if, uh, you know, they have a hero that has a non-attack skill. And then I'm just triggering a bunch of door attacks. Of course, the whole, uh, like, team, uh, I mean, the theme as well of uh, the, the group is uh, door attacks. Just do a bunch of door attacks and it works out uh, pretty well. If you want to speed things up and start doing door attacks with Melissa, what you can do is just have... A hero that is faster than her that applies attack buff on herself or on the whole team so there are so many of them i mean you could be using general purgus on a faster build you could be using a Purder cigarette you could be using charles en i mean there's a lot of heroes that can do it so that's definitely a great way to have her start calling those dual attacks and uh, with her kit after that attack buff is gone she could start uh, you know to use that skill number two of hers and also another thing about her skill number two is that if you have an attack based bruiser a, you know a hero a damage dealer that is slower than her by quite a bit uh, and you have her on a fast build what you could do is use skill number two with the 50 percent combativeness increase she's going to be able to uh well you want her to go twice you want her to use skill two and then use the skill one land defense break and then your uh, your attack, you know, uh, base hero gets called into the door attack. And with defense break, that hero, since the hero is built slow, is going to have other stats that are higher, like uh, more offense, more attack, crit damage, let's say, uh, more stability. So you don't have to worry too much about having high speed. So that's definitely a combo that you can pull off. It's crazy the amount of door attacks I'm able to do with this team. If you're looking for an emulator or a new phone, check the description of the video. As a light hero, she's gonna take quite a beating from those very dangerous dark heroes. So you definitely want to build her on the tankier side. The way I have her built, she is too squishy. It's not like a hero you want to worry about and have to babysit throughout the battle and, uh, you know, heal up. You need to focus on keeping your damage dealer alive, of course. So you will have to balance it out, have enough effectiveness to actually land that defense break. And then you will uh, want to work on uh, your speed as well, as well as your survivability, your health and your defense. Now, in terms of damage, right, like her skill number three really doesn't hit that hard. I have not tried her with some crazy amount of like uh, crit damage and attack to see how hard she actually hits. But I think it's going to be a meme. But if you do see a hero that is low on the enemy team, you if you see the opportunity and she lost some health, you could pull off a kill and then bring her health back to full. So that's definitely going to be very nice if you do manage to pull it off. If she has attack buff, of course, it will help her to deal more damage, especially if there's, you know, a defense break on the target. And uh, yeah, I mean, if, if there's defense break on the target, you're going to be dealing more damage than let's see if you only had attack buff on yourself. So maybe you don't have attack buff on her anymore and you see the opportunity for landing a killing blow to uh, top her uh, back up. So that's definitely a cool thing that you can pull off. Now the skill three, when it's not on cooldown, she actually takes 30% less damage. Her skill three is actually damage reduction. So it works with Aureus which means, well, it's going to be a great ability increase for herself. 
for artifacts you could be wearing i mean there's a lot of them that you can wear since she's a warrior you could have durandal you could have border coin since she has a non-attack skill you can build it up and have more speed since uh you know border coin was buffed not too long ago you could be running you know a champion's trophy if you want to land stun and have more effectiveness on herself you could have uh, you know even snow crystal so you have some effect resistance and you get some uh, combativeness increase when you receive a non-critical hit you could be running azure comet if someone goes down and you get a cr push you could be uh, running i mean even else fist if you lost some health you're gonna have more speed uh, you could be running Strag Gauntlet and have her on a high effect resistance build. That's definitely a great contender. Or maybe you don't even build any effect resistance on her. You could be wearing Crimson Seed. You could also be running Midnight Bloom to get some crit chance for the whole team on herself. Now, should you be building this hero? Now, the big question, of course, she's a three star. You can skill her up with a Catalyst and try her for yourself. But it's like I said, if you have a uh, good ability, a bruiser that scales off of attack uh, that you feel like will combo well with her, you know, you got Landy, Fire Ravi, like these meta heroes, you got those built, Spectre Tenebria, you could definitely combo her, uh, you know, them with her. So that's definitely very powerful. Now, another thing is that this hero is going to be stronger in Guild War format because it's a 3v3 format and uh, there's less damage coming your way you know her kit will shine more in guild war because she's got you know the self and the attack buff for an ally and then the, the 50 percent cr push she's gonna set up you know a kill pretty nicely with herself in a damage dealer so definitely gonna be uh, stronger in guild war compared to arena or rta but i mean if you build some more bolt compared to mine you can definitely take quite a punch even if she's light and there's a lot of uh, dark threat heroes you could definitely survive for long now if you do manage to land a kill with skill 3 and get her back fully topped off like that would be huge right there now is it worth it to build her as a damage dealer like a speedy damage dealer i don't think so but i need to do some more testing her multipliers they don't look to be high up there uh so that's the thing i'm like it doesn't say that she scales off of health she does scale off of attack and from what i've seen with her base attack it's uh yeah she's gonna be in the struggle to actually pull some numbers there is the issue of having her going it takes a while to get it to happen because she might need to use skill two into the skill one so it's there's a delay there and you're if you're fighting uh, a team that is on you know like a speed team or something like that she's not going to be working too well uh so you know you could have her in a like your team could be on the faster side but still you will need to bring that you know uh, team wide attack buffer so she starts calling those dual attacks because uh, there, yeah that delay is gonna be rough if you're trying to do some quick battles now for the problems the weaknesses the con using this hero you know her stats are not so great she's a three star hero so there is that also she needs to have attack buff to start doing those dual attacks the damage on skill three is not high it's gonna be rough to actually land a kill but at least she gets 30 percent damage reduction right there if you don't have skill three on cooldown ruana could definitely be a problem there's also the issue of not landing your defense break so 15 percent in h resist or maybe the enemy has very high effect resistance you cannot ignore effect resistance to land that defense break to really make this hero shine you should use all three of her skills properly and don't bring another attack buffer in the team she should be the attack buffer and have your damage dealer on the slower side if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe if you still haven't i finally made a guild on the global server join discord if you want to apply let us know what you guys think about camilla in the comment section i'm astronauts good luck with all you do peace out for now